AI recently introduced the GPTs, which is the great way to create the custom versions of chat GPT that combines the instructions, extra knowledge, and any combination of skills. I'll provide the link of this particular uh, blog post in the description of the video. But if you scroll a little bit down, it says here that anyone can easily build their own GPT. No coding is required. What we are going to do in this video is create a chat GPT like interface. Let's say a chat GPT. This is the end result that we will be seeing. This is what I have already created. On the left side, we can provide some configurations or mainly let's say we can have a conversation with the GPT builder and create our own custom GPT. And then also we can uh, configure this from this configure tab. And on the right side, there is the preview where we can have the conversation as we proceed. And also what we can do is provide our own, let's say this icon, I provided it to use my custom icon and also the extra document that you upload, which first goes through that particular document and then goes to uh, the REST LLM world. The document that I'm going to upload here is the transcript of my last video, which is RAG app to production. I'm, I'm showing how to use the Create Llama CLI tool. First, we will ask if it knows something about uh, Create Llama and then we will ask the question based on that, right? I'm going to create three different videos. One is this introduction to GPTs, meaning that the GPT from the OpenAI itself and inspired by this, there is one called Open GPTs by Langchain. It says here we can create a similar experience to OpenAI GPTs and Assistance API. By the way, I have already created the video about Assistance API. You can go to my YouTube channel and view somewhere here. There is this create open open AI assistance video. And then after that, I will create another video about racks. This is from Llama Index. As it is also mentioned here, this project is inspired by GPTs launched by OpenAI. There will be three videos. This one from OpenAI GPTs. Next one will be from Langchain Open GPTs. And the third one will be these racks from Llama Index. Let's get started. This is the UI of Chat GPT. You need to show, you need to see on your screen this new updated version. And by the way, one thing to mention here is that this is possible only with Chat GPT Plus subscription or the Chat Chat GPT Enterprise. If you are using the free version of Chat GPT, unfortunately, it's not possible. That's the reason I'm going to create two different videos later about Open GPTs from Langchain and the racks from Llama Index. Let's see, we will go through all of this together and you can use any of those which you find it easier to use. Here you can see that there is chat GPT-4, chat GPT, there is GPT-3.5 and plugins and all the different things. But how to create your own custom GPT? There is this explore icon here. You can go to this explore and let's see it loads. And as you can see here, there is already the one that I have already created for to create the new one. By the way, before that, here are some of the ones that is already provided by OpenAI. If you want to create images, you can just go to this dull lab and there is data analysis, chat GPT classic, and let's say you want to have the negotiator. And yeah, there are many already provided by chat GPT here, but we are going to create the new one, meaning that creates our GPT. I will click this one. As you can see here on the left side, there is this GPT builder and on the right side, there is this preview. Now we don't have anything here and what I'm going to do here, it says, hi, I help you build a new GPT. You can say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products or make a software engineer who helps format my code. What would you like to make, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the code here or the text here, which I have used in my previous thing. I am saying here. I want to make a GPT that is a data science and AI export with all the latest AI and data science knowledge and information. I can submit this. Once I submit this, the GPT builder is now building something. We will now have a conversation with this GPT builder and we will update our chat GPT, let's say our own chat GPT, and we can test here in the preview section. Now here it is saying that it is updating the GPT. And once it has done its initial phase, it will ask us some additional questions, what we want to do. Okay, now it's completed. It says, great choice. How about we name the GPT data science says, does that sound good to you? I can say here, provide me some more suggestions. Can you 
provide me some suggestions okay spelling mistake but it will understand let's see what it, it will suggest us here are the few suggestions for the name it's ai insider data wizard and it will say neural okay there is for ai analyst but what i want to do is data science basics what i will say here is okay i want to use data science basics now what it will do is then create a data science basics gpt we don't need to provide gpt at the end we can just say data science basics and that's a gpt for us and it says here generating the profile picture for me it generates the profile picture based on the dalle 3 image generation model but what we can also do is later upload our own image and then it will use that particular image i will show you how you can do that also yeah now it's generating the profile picture okay now it completes the as you can see here it's a gpt builder and this is the cool looking profile picture that it provides but as it is not that somehow related to data science basics what we can do is we can upload our our image and we say okay use this one what i will do here is upload the image now i am uploading the image of data science basics logo and it's now uploading and i will just submit this without saying any information what it will do now is use this particular data science basics logo and create the profile picture for us this is how you can use your brand image in order to create the profile picture of your gpt so yeah the profile picture has been updated yeah now as you can see here it is updated here and on the top also it says here data science basics and it is updated it says here the profile picture has been updated to the one you have uploaded for data science basics now let's refine the behavior of your gpt what is specific types of questions or tasks do you envision to handling with uh, relying of data science and ai by the way when this is doing as you can see here it already created these four different questions for us explain the concept of deep learning how to interact this data set what are the latest trends in ai and describe ethical issues in ai these are the questions that it already populates for us when this is already building we can already go here and ask the question let's say that we want to say okay explain the concepts of deep learning it is already going to provide the answer for us because it is already being created for us and we can customize as you as we go what i will do here is let's say no all set let's say we don't want to provide any information as you can see here it's the answer is quite slow as we are building it says here great if you have any re refinements or additional features you would like to add this 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 please feel free to let me know you can start uh, interacting with data science basics in the playground meaning that in the preview here which we have already done and then it says here okay try it out and see how it performs great now this is done now we already have our our own gpt but what we can do now is go to this configure tab we go here as you can see here it says the name data science basics and the logo is here and down here there is the description okay export in data science and ai with up-to-date knowledge this is what it created by itself for us and there is the instruction if i make this it provided many instructions here as you can see here your role is to be a data science and ai expert equipped with the latest technology and all the different things this is all the information that it provides for the instructions we need to provide some instructions to the llms and as it is says here this ensure that your response are factual and up to date reflecting the latest developments in data science and ai as of april if you have watched the day day keynote it is mentioned that the latest chat gpt has the information until april 2023 right that's what it is mentioned here and yeah as you can see here here also it answers the first question for us and here are the some of the questions conversation starters meaning that what we see there on the first page i will just go here and refresh these four questions you can just remove this if you don't want and add more if you want let's say here if you want to have five you can just go here and add it but i think these four are quite good already and now here is the knowledge kind of things that i said you before because now we can ask as many questions as we want just just as a demo what i'm going to do is i will say here what create llama it does not have the information after april and the create llama was introduced by uh, llama index recently it is now going to hallucinate and provide random information it says the create llama is not a standard term or tool within the field of data science and ai as of my last training data in april 2023 
That's correct. But what we want to do now is provide the information so that it knows that what is create llama. For that, what we need to do is upload the you know, file here. As I said you before also, I'm going to take the transcript of this last video of my where I, I'm talking about the create llama where I have showcased how you can create and deploy the RAG application to production in Varshil using the create llama CLI tool. What we can do now is here you can actually provide whatever information you want. Let's say that you don't want the capabilities of this new GPT to browse the uh, internet. I think that you want to use this because you want to grab the latest information from the internet and also want to create images as you go and then the code interpreter. And there is this question mark also. Code interpreter lets your GPT run the code. When enabled, your GPT can analyze the data, work with files you have uploaded, or do math and more. Yeah, and other actions, create a new actions. You can go here and provide all other different things, but we are not going to go through this right now. Let me go back. And then here there is some additional settings also. Use conversation data in your GPT to improve our models. You can check this or uncheck depending upon your use case. For now, I'm going to uncheck this. What I'm going to do now is upload that transcript. You can click this upload files and then upload your transcript. Now the file is being uploaded. This create llama rag deploy and this and you can upload uh, PDFs or any any other formats that this supports. But here I'm uploading the Word Word document. Now, as you can see, when this is uploaded, it needs the refresh, right? Because we added some extra information and what I will also add here in this instruction if I go all the way down in the instruction and I will say that okay first refer to the uploaded document to answer the questions by by providing this instruction it will first go through our our file that we just uploaded and then provide the information for us what I will do now is refresh this page Okay, so now I can ask what is create llama again. If I go here and say what is create llama, so it should provide me the updated information because before there was no information about create llama. And now, as you can see here, let me make this here create llama is a CLI tool used for creating RAG applications. That's how you can provide some additional information. By the way, this is just a simple example I'm providing here how you can provide your own information and you can go here and ask as many questions as you want now as you can see here there is this web browsing also what we can do here is ask something to do the web browsing things i can stop this now it will be stopped and i can say here okay let me first ask what is llama index it says what is llama index let's say if it knows llama index or not it should because without the information that i provide here also it should know llama index but as you can see, it says here searching my knowledge. It is for searching the knowledge and when it finds the information, it will provide the information for us. Okay, Llama Index is used in the context of creating a new RAG application in the video titled Create Llama Deploy by this. As I said in the instructions, first go through my uploaded transcript and then answer. If it doesn't find anything there, it will go and search somewhere else. But it finds there and it is now providing the answer for me. But now here it sorts from my updated information or let's say the information that I provided. What if I want it to do some web browsing? Because I haven't provided here the website of Llama Index. I can go here and say, can you uh, provide me the website link of Llama Index? It needs to go through the web browsing now. Let's see. Okay, sorting my knowledge first, then maybe it should go to the web browsing using Bing and it should find the information. But let's see what will be the answer here. It went there and okay, I couldn't find the specific website link for Llama Index in the provided document. However, there was a mention of obtaining an open AI API key for use in the RAG. So they state some this, this, this. Okay, it just went to my document and then it is trying to get the answer. What I can say now is, can you provide it by web browsing? It should actually directly go to the web browsing, but it didn't win. But now I said it to specifically go to web browsing and it's a searching Llama Index website. 
sometimes it works because before when I created the test version, I provided the same question and it provided me the information. But here it just goes through my provided document. It is mainly because I provided here, please answer from first from the file I uploaded and then go else. Maybe I should write clear instruction there. But yeah, this is LLM and it works in this way. It's the same prompt works sometimes. And next time you need to format it. And now it says here you can find more information about Lama Index. Let me click this if it gets the right link or not. Okay, it gets the right link here, meaning that it went to the web browsing also. By the way, before I just showed you a small glimpse of uh, these actions, but what you can also do here is if you go to the actions, it says here, let your GPT retrieve information or take actions outside of chat GPT. You can even go here and see some examples here. There is this weather JSON. As you can see here, there is this function our schema being provided and all the information is here. And there is this get weather, current weather, get, and there is the location. And this is the test and authentication, non, and there is privacy policy and so on, right? By the way, let me see if I, it is taking get current weather. Okay, weather.example.com. Okay, this is just the example it is providing. But what you can do here is provide the actual URL and provide the authentication. If you go here, it says here, okay, authentication type, non API key, OAuth and so on. If you go here and provide the information, you can already get the current let's say the weather also let me go here and delete this because i don't need it right now i will refresh the page because i need to refresh the page each time i provide some additional information once this is created what to do next you can go to this save and now it says only people with a link can assess this you can make it public or you can have let's say only me meaning that only i can assess this and you can confirm and here it says data science basics by by me here. but let's say that it's there is a way how you can make it a branding also let's say you have your website and if you want to provide some additional information how you can do that is if you go to the main page here and if you go to the settings and beta if you go to this builder profile and here this is how it shows like personalize your builder profile to connect with huge users of your gpts this is i'm saying here by name because this is using my name if i replace this then it says by community builder right i will give my name here but there is a way how you can also provide the website already there if you go here there is a select a domain verify new domain you can go here and provide your information if you provide your information and submit then it will be shown there as as your website meaning that whoever uses your gpt knows that okay this is the this is the website and it is kind of already a branding or marketing being done there so yeah, that is how you can quickly create the GPTs. I hope you know how to go step by step and create your own. By the way, I just showed you the normal things what you can do. But as I said, you can go here and upload many other documents also and make it, let's say, the, the focused area what, what you want your GPT to, to get the information from. Okay, that's all for this video. In the next video, as I said before also, I'm going to go through these open GPTs from Langchain. And let's say how it is similar to this or what we can do out of it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.